And on Wednesday, a bright start for the east, but that showery rain pushes across, some fairly hefty bursts from time to time. On Thursday, the cloud, the rain pushes ever eastwards, and behind, following on with mixture of sunshine and blustery showers. But temperatures remain on the cooler side throughout. That's all from me. Good night. Sponsored by PowerGen. Producing electricity, whatever the weather. Should we expect the impossible? Is the end in sight for Arthur? Tomorrow morning at GMTV exclusive with actor Bill Treacher. And to LA for the star-studded premiere of a spectacular film as Tom Cruise pulls off his Mission Impossible. GMTV tomorrow. Karen Lawson was an ordinary housewife until she took crack cocaine. Her husband was devastated. She only actually became a prostitute when she built such a big debt with her dealers that they actually physically took her and put her on the street. Karen lost her home and her family. On the streets, her new associates knew her as Miss Popular. I don't blame anything or anybody. I did it to myself. Network First uncovers the world of Miss Popular's Crack City, Tuesday at 10.40. Victoria Wood, Bernard Manning, Caroline Hook and other comics with roots in the Northwest talk about their comedy styles. It's a funny business in 10 minutes. Benny Dorm. Benny Dorm. Benny Dorm. Benny Dorm. Yes, Benny Dorm. <laughs> Benny Dorm. Come to Benny Dorm. For more information, contact your local travel agent or turn to Teletext page 680. thousand pounds instantly everyone wins something in the great san marco pizza half a million pound giveaway quick save cutting the cost of shopping women they'll borrow anything your t-shirt your shirt your razor for heaven's sake but just try and borrow her special cake they won't let you have it because they know you'll like it look at those flames Man-sized flakes, crunchy, wheaty, malty. All those vitamins and iron, that's man stuff. Well, in fat, winning. Kellogg's Special K, the taste, the shape, the breakfast. Her breakfast. The people who make tires trusted to do this. And tires trusted to do this are people you can trust for tyres when you need to do this. From one of the world's most advanced factories, Kumho, tyres you can trust. To perform like Linford, you've got to think like Linford. P-M-A. P-M-A. Positive mental attitude. Come on, it's got to be in somewhere. Oh no, my sandwiches! My one big stain, one little Linford, a new generation Persil. P.M.A. Persil performs brilliantly, and it shows. Why aren't they doing something about these first water mains? I want more details and facts on, on how our money's being spent. I would have thought the reservoirs would have filled up by now. According to the Met Office, the Northwest has experienced the driest 12 months since records began. And despite recent rain, the drought conditions still exist, and unfortunately the hosepipe ban must continue. But Northwest Water haven't just been waiting for rain. They've planned ahead and secured additional supplies of water. They've built a new network of pipes to divert water to areas where reservoirs are low. They've speeded up the program of replacing old leaking iron pipes with modern plastic piping, and they're repairing leaks at the rate of around 1,000 a week. This massive investment will continue, and Northwest Water will keep you informed. Look out for the drought updates in your local press. And everyone can help by not wasting water. Just leaving a tap running for a couple of minutes while brushing your teeth can waste this much. For your free guide on saving water, call 0645 543 210. There's one building society that's helped more people get to where they want to go than any other. 
get a little extra help from the Halifax. What did you say your name was? Columbo. I don't remember it, does. Columbo goes to college Friday at 10.40. The day's events and news stories covered now by Granada for May the 20th in the bulletin from our Liverpool News Centre. Good evening. A man who strangled and dismembered his pregnant wife before burning and scattering her remains in three different places has been jailed for life. Javed Iqbal from Burnley admitted murder. From Preston Crown Court, Mark Owen reports. In June last year, crews from the Lancashire Fire Service were called to four grass fires on the same night. The fires were all in the Ribble Valley, and at each a gruesome discovery was made. The head, arms, legs and torso of a woman. To outsiders, the arranged marriage between 26-year-old Javed Iqbal and his 22-year-old wife Shahida seemed fine. The couple lived in Burnley and had two children. Shahida was expecting their third. But Javed had a mistress, who he regularly met in this house in nearby Clitheroe. He'd even told his wife he wanted his mistress to move in with them. In his defence, all the QC Richard Henriquez would say about Javed Iqbal was that he was now overwhelmed by guilt. But Mr Justice Case said that Javed had not only killed his wife and his unborn child, but he'd now deprived his other two children of both their parents. Javed Iqbal's family refused to comment after the hearing. Shahida was a distant relative, and privately one said that they hoped the admission of guilt by Javed today would help heal the tragic wounds inflicted on their family. Afterwards, the family of Shahida B, her mother and sister, said they were satisfied with the verdict. Detectives investigating Liverpool's latest gangland killing have linked it to a recent attack nearby. A gang armed with knives and a machete burst into a pub last night and killed Stephen Cole as he drank with his wife. Vanessa Kirkpatrick reports. It was a brutal, frenzied attack. Thirty men descended on the farmer's arms in Longmore Lane in Aintree in a convoy of vehicles. Eight to ten men burst into the pub and attacked 37-year-old Stephen Cole, who was out drinking with his wife and two friends. The motive that we have at the moment, uh, and as you'll appreciate, it is uh, early hours in the inquiry yet, is that it was as a result of a dispute between a group of people who are employed on doors in, in the curvy area. Um, there was a previous incident where uh, violence was used by this group of males, and this would appear to be an extension of it. Cole was acquitted of attempted murder last summer following an incident outside Chase's pub in Vazakali in August 1994. Police at this stage have not linked the two incidents. Following last night's attack in the crowded pub, they're appealing for witnesses to call them on Crime Stoppers 0800 5 1. Senior detectives from police forces across the northwest have been at a special meeting discussing more than 200 unsolved murders across the country, which could be the work of serial killers. Andy Gill reports. Heads of CID from all 43 police forces in England and Wales gather in the Midlands for Operation Enigma. Among them, the most senior detectives from Merseyside, Greater Manchester, Lancashire and Cheshire. Detectives stress it's a case of improving a system which is already in place. We've had arrangements uh, for doing this for a number of years now. Uh, what we're saying is we think we can enhance those arrangements. We've been looking back at what we've been doing in the past. We've had discussions with colleagues who've made advances in other countries. We've got new technology available to us. Senior officers stress that Operation Enigma isn't itself an inquiry into any specific cases. But detectives hope they'll gain valuable insights for investigations into a number of unsolved murders in the Northwest. Murders like that of Julie Finlay, who was found strangled near the Rainford Bypass two years ago. Her death has been linked to eight other killings. When Angela Hayes was found strangled and assaulted in Darwin, there were fears that she could be the victim of a serial killer. And Cheshire police are still investigating the murder of Lynn Trenholm in a Chester massage parlour in 1991. We're moving on to football now, and Liverpool legend Ian Rush has signed for Leeds. 34-year-old Rush joined on a free transfer despite offers from around the world. He scored 346 goals in 16 years at Liverpool. That's all the news tonight. Good night. Tomorrow, our very own Baywatch. How North Wales police are using a high-speed powerboat to catch crooks who target luxury yachts, stealing marine equipment and water sports gear to order. 
We also need your help in solving some of the region's major crimes. That's Crime File in Granada tonight, tomorrow night at 6.25. <laughs> Granada Weather, sponsored by First Choice Holidays, for a brighter outlook. Most places will be dry at first, but scattered showers will spread northeastwards overnight. Lowest temperature 5 Celsius with light winds. There will be some sunshine at times tomorrow morning, but showers will become more frequent and heavier by midday. Heavy and prolonged showers are expected in the afternoon, some with thunder over the hills. There will also be sunny intervals, especially along the coast, top temperatures near 14 degrees. Although rain is expected on Wednesday, there will still be a few bright intervals. Sunny intervals and showers will follow on Thursday. Friday will start bright, but rain expected later. Saturday will remain unsettled, with further rain at times in most places. For a more detailed local forecast, call Weather Update, sponsored by First Choice Holidays on 0891 555977. It's the biggest football event for 30 years at home. As the English and Scots prepare to take on football's finest, what are their chances? The team that knows football face a live audience from top London clubs answering the questions that matter. Euro 96, the countdown, Wednesday at 11.10 on Granada. The subject is comedy featuring top laughter makers from this region. <laughs> Thank you. 